Hey guys, Vogue Maverick here. It's been a bit of time since I last did a video. Well, recorded video again. It's a lot harder when your Mac's still out of commission. Though, now I'll be able to ha do a little bit... I'll probably be able to do like some mobile games. If you guys like that, please let me know. Um, in this video, we just have another little... This one's a plug-and-play handheld. Not exactly a good one, but see, it's composite. Um, can't exactly see uh, everything. All right, let's hope that it's well framed. But this is it. It's nothing special. It's just it's a little poker. Well, it says World Series of Poker, but it's basically a casino thing. Now you may notice, hopefully it uploads like this too, that this might be 60 FPS. Um, I'm going to edit this all together in iMovie and everything. And yeah, anyways, this is just a basic little thing. Batteries go in there. What does it run? Oh, four triple A's. Yeah, see it says right there. Four triple A's. And it's a plug and play as you can no doubt tell. Te pretty, actually, I was gonna say pretty bad D-pad, but for the type of games that you're playing, it's actually perfectly fine. It clicks in all the way, but I can assure you, I don't think that's actually a third button. What we're dealing with is, I believe, basically an NES on a chip. If you're, if you're at all familiar with these sort of plug and play or clone games systems, you'll know you'll know what Famiclone is or NES on a chip. We have A and B. With, yes, A and B. It's not A and B. Big, huge start button. And a smaller select button. And a little reset button that could be actually eerily easy to hit. I wish it was more like right here. But do you think that's bad? The way I like to hold my systems is like this. But unfortunately, that is right where the shoulder, that is, exa is exactly where the on-off switch is. It, should, it could have been like up here or in the center, but no, they had to put it right there. Not exactly the greatest spot, at least for me. Especially since you have to push it to the, to the right to turn it on. And when you turn it on, there's a little LED right there. Um, that big star button feels okay. The buttons are, I've used worse, but I've also used way better. So let's get this hooked up to the TV and I'll show you exactly what we're dealing with for games. I mean, obviously it's casino, but you get the point. And we're back. So I got the thing all hooked up. I have the light off to help make it easier to see the TV. Let's turn the thing on. I'm actually going to turn that up so you guys can hear the little thing. I gotta say that doesn't... Oh, here's the one thing that's annoying with this. Notice how it's very repetitious? It's bad that you could last a few seconds and then it loops. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and start with Blackjack. Um, let's, let's bet a hundred. Oh, I guess I could have used a hundred. So you have these chips here. And then when you're ready, click deal. I busted. Blackjack is a game that I played growing up. Not, of course, just with, you know, fake tokens and stuff. Oh, yeah, you don't even have to worry about running out of chips for a long while. while. Oh, that's right, you can actually bet up to 250. Uh, oh, we can split. Uh, stand for that one. And... Not exactly... Ah. 
I usually just bit all a bit a bit all. Well, let's hit it. Well, I would have lost either way. Okay, so you can click that or just hit the reset button. But you'll have to see that again. Alright, next up. Slots. It's your basic slot game. This one's too so easy. Well, not easy, but it's so boring. I got 150 back. And you get 300. Yeah, it's just basic slots. And I think the screen has just slid down a little. There we go. Roulette. Sorry, I am a big fan of Bon Jovi. And here it is, seeing the name Roulette just reminds me of the Bon Jovi song, Roulette, from their first album, actually also called Bon Jovi. Yeah, so... It's, Go with my favorite number. Now, is it actually a limit? Okay, there is a limit. Minute, a bit high, but the max bet of 500. And spin. lost. Okay. It's basic, but you, can't ex you don't want to, you can't expect anything too extravagant, as this is a, basically NES on chip. Craps. Yeah, that's, some of these games can be kind of crap, but honestly, this was given to me by a family member. I actually, I've actually gotten quite a bit of enjoyment from this. Most of these games, I don't even know how to play. <laughs> Kino, I do know how to play this one. This one, I used to play a game called, well, Kino on Pogo. Pogo.com. And I also like playing Kino Pop. I, I actually like Kino Pop a little more just because it's visual variety. So what you do is you pick different numbers. And you go, 25 has always remained my favorite number. If you want to know why... If you look at a digital clock, you guys might laugh at this, but but on a digital clock, the no, spot between two and five, because of the digits, looks like there's a bit of a circle going on. I know, it's weird, but hey, to each their own, right? Uh, my experience with this game is usually get as many numbers, get some numbers that are spread apart. To make it increase your chances. Actually, I'm gonna do that. Do that. Okay. And let's go five rounds. Oh, got a hit on my favorite number. 25, 36, 30. So that means. But. But we got, on, we got three hits on round one. This is round two now. Round three, we got five hits, not bad. And usual three hits. Seven hits, nice. Okay, yeah, that's enough of that. 
Yeah, you can actually skip that. Video poker. Let's try this. Uh, actually, I believe you got that. I'm, a, I'm rusty at poker. The most I've played is recently is the uh, Mar I call it Mario Poker, but it's basically that poker mini game in Super Mario 64 DS or and or New Super Mario Brothers, depending on which one. Probably should have held on to the. Yeah. And as usual, you get. You get. 5,000 coins. Oh, hey! That seriously sounds a little bit like Mega Man. Uh, let's hold on to nine. Especially that final note, because it reminds me of like Mega Man 1. Oh, definitely want to hold on to these two twos. Hey, we got three of a kind. Yeah, it's coming back to me. Two pairs, nice, not bad, not bad. Tells me to hold on. Yeah, I'm pressing the center of that D pad and it's not a button. I told you guys. Uh, okay, let's see what else is on available. Texas Hold'em. Uh... Uh... Fold, maybe? Okay, yeah, I'm not good at this. Five card draw? What is this? I've never actually played this. Actually, I don't think I have a good hand, so I'm gonna fold. I lost. Okay, that's enough of that. Oh yeah, you can also use left and right to scroll pages. Hi, gal, polka. Gonna show you one more game here. Um, gin rummy. Why not? Good animation there, considering there's a lot often lack of good animation on these games. Coming back to me now. I 
think. Yeah, we gotta find something to toss. Let's toss the two. What? Okay. Alright, now that's it for this little thing. Yeah, sorry for this little seizure flash there. Anywho, I'll see you guys all in the next episode. Bye-bye. In the next video. See you guys then.